So one of the campuses that I decided to look into was the City College of New York and their Accessibility Center. And uh, the first criteria is information for faculty. We're going to take note of the resources and you're going to click on faculty and you'll take note of the faculty resources that they provide, the notification of accommodations and services, instructional technology, the disability clause, CUNY guide, and their code of conduct for social disabilities. And uh, the next one is making documents accessible. Um, so this one's they they provide it, but you do have to search for it a little bit. You're gonna go, you're gonna stay on resources. You'll go to library accessibility, and uh, you'll take note of this this tab right here, making content accessible. And it'll tell you about capturing videos, creating emails, create PDF and Microsoft documents, and developing websites, and uh, yeah, accessibility compliance, and a bunch of good resources for, uh, for faculty in regards to making things accessible. And so we're going to go back. We're going to go back a little more. And uh, we're going to take note of the fact that when we go to a common accommodations and services, because the next criteria is, what are the assistive technologies that are available? And it's going to show you this page. Uh, it's going to take note of the, the lab and the technology spaces that are provided on campus. Actually, if you want to find out more, you'll go back to resources. Back to, we'll go back to resources here. We'll go back to the library accessibility, and you'll scroll down. And you'll you'll notice that it talks about assistive technology right here. And again, it lays out some of the examples of the technologies that are available for students with disabilities based on their disability and how it impacts them academically. And uh, we're going to go back. And so the next one is information on registering for services. And I actually really like that when you scroll up, again, under the tab accommodations and services, you'll take note of where it says registering with AAC, which is the Accessibility Center, SDS, Disability Services, and it gives you the layout registering with their office. Um, first is identifying your eligibility, making a formal request, providing documentation, your registration appointment, and of course if you have any inquiries, feel free to contact them. In regards to requesting specific services, Take note of the academic adjustments and auxiliary aids. And if you'll, if you'll see below, uh, you have the priority registration, exam accommodations, recording of lectures. Uh, as an example, can we click on uh, exam, exam accommodations? And uh, yeah, just general instructions on what you would need to do in order to do so. And so overall, how welcoming is this site? Um, so when we go back to the beginning, I would, uh, I would have to say it really is welcoming. And there's a lot of, a lot of great information for an incoming student or a prospective student that they can really, really um, take note of. Um, just as a quick example, if we'll go to uh, resources, transition from high school to college, which is something that we also touched upon throughout the semester. Um, it kind of lays out what the difference is between high school and college. And you know what you need to know, which is really, really crucial. So that the transition from high school to college for a new student is smooth. 